Biking is so much fun! On our last video about our bike, we had a lot of people asking about the bike carrier. In this video, we will show you what we bought and what we had to build to make it work for us. Our total cost to get this working was about $80. Bailey and I are about 16 pounds total, and this carrier should work for small and medium sized dogs. Let's get started! First, check your bike rack size. Here is a simple rear rack. It is rated to hold about 50 pounds. Our rack came with our bike. It's about 7 inches wide but not long enough to hold the carrier by itself. We're going to build an extension for the carrier. Make sure you have a way to secure the wood base to the carrier. We'll be using some nuts, bolts and a bolt plate. Here's the bolt plate. Essentially it goes under the rack, then secure the wood using the nuts and bolts. We use two of them to make the rack more secure. Our second step, make a wooden base. On the left is a finished base with the holes drilled. The larger holes are for the bolts, the smaller holes are for the zip ties. Place the carrier on the plywood. The wood is a little more than a half inch thick. Use a pencil to mark the location of the carrier bottom. Be sure to give enough room for the zip tie holes. About an extra inch should do the trick. Third step. Marking the holes to drill. This step is a bit tough, we're showing you with a finished base. You'll need to use a pencil to mark the wood where a bolt can go through the bolt plate. You'll want to have the base mounted at least 3 to 4 inches from the bike seat. The zip tie holes are just evenly spread. We used 5 zip ties per side. Step 4. Cut and drill the base. Cut your wood board using a saw. We used a jigsaw, but use what makes sense for you. After cutting the wood to shape, sand the edges to make it smooth to the touch. Now, we drill the holes. We used a 3 8 of an inch drill bit for the big holes. For the smaller zip tie holes, we used a 5 30 seconds of an inch bit, but use what makes sense for your zip ties. At this point, you might want to test fit the base. If it fits well, we suggest removing it and painting the base. It's up to you if you want to. We used simple black spray paint. Here are the bolts, plates and wing nuts we used. Let's attach the base to the rack. Let's put the bolts through washers, and then put the base on the rack. On the bottom side, we attach the bolt plate and the wing nuts then tighten it. Fifth step. Let's attach the carrier and zip tie it. We'll do the corners first, and then work our way around. Once you're done, cut the excess ties. Final step, attach a harness. While this step is optional, we like it because it makes us feel safer. We had seat belt straps that we repurposed for this. Simply zip tie them, and adjust the length. You might use an old waist strap, but I'd love to hear your creative solutions for this. All done! We love this carrier because it has two openings. If you'd like to build this carrier for your bike, we list the materials needed, in the description below. Hope this video was useful, and I would love to see your carrier. Thank you for watching!